So, a few things of note. Uh, first of all, just a one final reminder that um, I'm hosting a, a free group session slash class um, Tuesday, May 30th, uh, it, regarding emotional healing work and specifically dealing with, with SP, specific person issues that a lot of people in the manifesting community, um, you know, want to talk about, it seems like. Um, so yeah, we're going to have this free group session on the 30th. If you want to join, um, I'll put the, the link to my newsletter below. You can sign up for the newsletter. And, um, if you sign up for the newsletter, you'll get the zoom link on Tuesday before the session starts. The session is Tuesday, May 30th at 4 PM Eastern. And, uh, my friend Cecilia will be, um, co leading it with me, I believe. Um, yeah, so so there's that. And then um, actually the main reason I'm making this video today is, is just to link to the video that uh, Maggie did, uh, I believe, yesterday. I'll put the link in the description below. I'll put a link above. Um, you know, Maggie is one of the few people who consistently makes great videos about these manifesting concepts um, on YouTube. Uh, she always makes great videos. Um, but yesterday's video I thought was one of the best things she's ever done, particularly the first five minutes of it. Uh, in the first five minutes of the video and, and, you know, if you don't have much time right now, stop watching this video and watch the first five minutes of Maggie's video. Um, the first five minutes of that video, Maggie just talked about, uh, resistance and dealing with resistance and working with resistance and what resistance means in her opinion when it comes to your desire and what you want. Um, you might not agree with everything she says in the first five minutes of that video, but she makes some really interesting points that I think are extremely valuable and um, very clear. And, you know, she, she says in the video, I think that she says, I think everybody knows how to do this. And I personally, Tim, um, I agree and disagree with that. I agree with it in that intuitively, I think we all know how to work with resistance and, and feelings that come up. I think that's just part of our physiological nature as human beings, right? But I do feel like many of us, perhaps the majority of people interested in um, these manifesting ideas really don't know how to do what Maggie describes in the first five minutes of that video. Um, and she describes how to do it briefly in those first five minutes. But a lot of the work that um, we've been discussing on this channel, uh, you know, emotional healing work, if we want to use that term, emotional intimacy, um, working through difficult emotions, letting go, surrendering. A lot of that stuff, in my opinion, in this modern day and age where we like to use our head and be very rational and have a tendency to overthink, a lot of that work we have to relearn or we have to learn how to do. And I do not personally think that a lot of people in the manifesting community really know how to do it. Um, I recorded a podcast episode that has to be edited, but it'll probably come out in the next day or two. Um, just talking about, you know, doing some of this work. Um, the podcast episode, it, you know, is quoting David Hawkins and letting go talking about doing this type of work. Um, it's really important to be more aware of how we're feeling. Not how we're thinking about our feelings, but just to be aware of how we're feeling. Because we're so prone, it seems like, a lot of us, to be in our head. In our head about all aspects of our life, of our life, including these manifesting aspects. We think about what we want. We think about our desire mentally a lot. But we don't really feel into our desire. Now, obviously, somebody like Neville talks about feeling is the secret, all this stuff. That information is wonderful, but it's also become almost cliche at this point because it's discussed so much and in a very, um, these days, like on social media, like a very superficial uh, discussion of it a lot of the time, you know, really feeling what you want 
um, is easier when you feel good, <laughs> quite simply. And what we all want really is to feel good anyway, right? But what happens is this resistance comes up, these uncomfortable feelings come up and we, we don't feel good, right? And we're like, well, I don't, I can't feel into my desire. I can't feel what it's like to have this perfect romantic partner or this perfect job or this perfect house or this perfect car or whatever the heck we're trying to externally manifest. I can't feel into that. I have too much resistance emotionally right now. I don't feel good and my head's racing. When that happens, you know, what you can do is, you know, made that I made that video a couple of weeks ago, like cut off the power supply, like what Richard Dots talks about, like stop thinking so much, right? And just stop paying attention to the cr- crazy thoughts running through your head and pay attention to your body and how you feel and feel into it, feel into it. That's the surrendering process, the releasing process, the letting go process. <sighs> And we can all do this. Maggie's absolutely right about that. We can all do this. But we have to re-educate ourselves or practice doing it more so we get used to doing it and really practice becoming more intimate with our feelings. Very valuable work to do. One might say essential work to do if we want to um, positively transform our lives utilizing these manifesting principles. So I hope this was helpful. Any questions uh, or for coaching or anything else, info at RadicalCounselor.com. Until next time.